At this year's WWDC keynote, there were four new pieces of hardware released, including the all-new Apple Vision Pro. To keep you in the know, we've rounded up the most important specs and highlights of these pieces of hardware, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First up, Apple Vision Pro, Apple's first AR headset. It looks similar to a pair of ski goggles and will run on an all-new platform called Vision OS via spatial computing powered by an M2 and R1 chip. Together, the headset offers floating interfaces of familiar apps and services like Safari, Disney+, FaceTime, iMessage, and more. Apple's Vision Pro headset relies solely on your eyes, fingers, and voice to work. From selecting elements on screen by simply looking at them and pinching your index and thumb fingers to giving voice commands. There are no controllers or additional hardware required to operate the machine. On its own, Apple says the Vision Pro will last around two hours before needing to recharge. To help, the headset's bundled with a pocketable charging pack that can be tethered to your body. Apple's Vision Pro headset will sell for a hefty $3,499 putting it well above competitors like the $1,000 MetaQuest Pro and HTC Vive XR Elite. Apple says the headset will be available early next year. Next up, the MacBook Air. The Air got a facelift, going from a 13.6 inch display to a 15.3 inch display, and now has six speakers. This new 15 inch MacBook Air rounds out the rest of Apple's MacBook lineup, which includes the standard Air and a 14 and 16 inch Pro model. The new Air touts an 18 hour battery life, an M2 chipset, up to 24 gigs of RAM, and up to two terabytes of base storage, along with the usual MacBook fix-ins like Touch ID, a 1080p camera, and a liquid retina display. It's available in Starlight, Space Gray, Silver, and Midnight at a starting price of $1,299. That's 100 more than the retail price of last year's 13-inch variant, which will be dropped to an official price of $1,099. The Mac Studio is back and getting its biggest upgrade in the form of a new silicon processing unit, the M2 Ultra and M2 Max. Like its predecessor, the new Mac Studio features a miniature desktop form factor with polished aluminum surrounding all sides. But again, the main story here is that M2 Ultra chip. Apple says the new processor features a 24-core CPU and up to 76-core GPU that's 30% faster than last year's M1 Ultra variant, and up to six times faster than the Intel-based 27-inch iMac. The M2 Ultra model is also capable of powering up to six Pro Display XDRs and supports Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, a higher bandwidth HDMI port, and up to six USB-C ports, four of which are Thunderbolt 4. The Mac Studio is available for pre-orders at a starting price of $1,999, and Apple says the model will start shipping next week. Finally, the Mac Pro gets the Apple Silicon treatment that it has deserved, with the latest model featuring the company's most competent chip, the M2 Ultra. Apple's also integrated more versatility with the new Mac Pro, giving users eight Thunderbolt ports on the back, twice as many as what was on its predecessor, and PCIe expansion, six of which support Gen 4, for when you want to customize the I.O. cards, network accessories, and storage. Thanks to the new M2 processor and what Apple dubs UltraFusion technology, the new Mac Pro supports a 24-core CPU and up to a 76-core GPU that's 30% faster than the M1 Ultra powering previous models like the Mac Studio and MacBook Pro. Some other useful additions include Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 integration, and support for monitors of up to 8K resolution and 240Hz refresh rates. The Mac Pro will be available on June 13th for $6,999, and Apple will offer the desktop with an optional rack mount for horizontal orientation. And that'll do it for the hardware roundup. To check in and see about the iOS updates that are coming later this fall, be sure to check out our other videos here on this channel. As always, to see our in-depth hands-on reviews, be sure to stick with ZDNet in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching.